I promise you there are people and there's ethics committees, there's people walking around that hospital wringing their hands wondering how do we get people to understand, people meaning a family, to understand what they are contending with here. At 10 days I said enough is enough. We're 18 yeah. days in and they're really, let's face it, no change. When you have a person that you're having to assess their brain function, no, they're not brain dead, but I'm telling you, I would not ever want to recover given what's likely to be on the other side of this. Yeah, you know, Dr. Drew, there's just so much about this case that just doesn't make sense. And it's clear to me, if nothing more, that the family just wants everyone to stay out. They haven't given well, that's any information. Fine. That's but fine. like you said, I mean, 18 but, days. But 18 days in the ICU is getting ridiculous. It's really? getting ridiculous. Yeah. But Sam, I I'm don't telling agree, you. Dr. Drew, Sam, but if Sam, she had, Sam, okay, I'm not no, a doctor. No, no. Hold on, I, but I'm if she had some you. brain function, she's not brain dead. Correct. She's young. Correct. Why, why would you take that hope away from her family when she's not well, brain dead? Because, they be, because there's a gigantic range from brain death to contracted and unable to communicate with the outside world to being able to swallow and breathe on their own. There's a whole range in there. Personally, I will have directives where I make it explicit. I don't want any of that. Now, Karamo, as a social worker, I'm going to call you in for a consult. 18 days in a coma. What do we do here? There's no directive to physicians. There's an ethics committee g gathering together to try to help this family contend with the, the horrible reality they're dealing with. What do you do as the social worker? We have to have a real conversation with the family about the quality of life that this young lady would have. And it addresses what you said, Dr. Drew. I mean, what 18 days in a coma, what she would be doing af if she was to make it out of this, which I do hope, and I understand the family's, you know, their, their hope for her to recover. But when she comes out of this, the quality of life that she's going to have the things that she's going to need, I do not think that's a quality of life that any person deserves. And I think that the family is right now being selfish in keeping her alive and not facing and tackling those tough decisions. Uh, listen, Samantha. If it was three months, Dr. Drew, I would agree with you. But 18 days to me, Why we're talking do you, about well, days. Well, I don't know what experience days. you've had in an ICU, Sam, but I've I'm telling you. I've had experience in after, an ICU. After with ten, no, no, no. After not 10 like days. You. No, but after I, 10 days, people are going, what are we doing here? Okay, what are we doing well, here? How are we going to get out of this? It would be hard for me to let go, yeah. let's say, of my husband. Has been of in just course. 18 days, That's but... why somebody should be helping you, Spirit. Somebody should be helping. This is a horrible, yeah. horrible it's, tragedy. It's... But it's because it's hard because what happens is the individual, the loved one, believes that they are making the decision whether or not this person lives or dies, but they can't rationalize that the person may already be gone. Mm -hmm. It's the machines that are doing the work, and if she's kept on too much longer, they're going to have to start thinking about maybe that their that her organs shut down, and no, but, and but, her body may do what the she, family can. But listen, I'm going to I'm going to put something in my directive to physicians. After 18 days, I don't care what's going on. Take me off. Uh, cause, because that's the, that's the probability, that's how probable it is that it's going to be just disastrous, disastrous at, at the other side of this. Yeah, but she's of, young, though, Dr. No, Drew. Uh, Aren't no. there cases, though, after no. a couple the, of months? The, I'm not talking not about like brain this. dead no, here. No, not, not somebody on a breathing. Listen, I'm not either. Oh. Breathing machine unable to be brought out of a medical coma because of seizuring. That is profound. So... Believe me, there are people in that ICU, professionals, that are mortified that this is dragging on the way it is. That's a lot of what goes on in ICUs, which is people going, oh, how do we get people to understand that this is not going to go well? Because you see somebody there with a heartbeat and is breathing, even though they're breathing with assisted support of a breathing machine. It's a tracheostomy. It's a feeding tube. It's contraction. It's skin breaking down. It's things you, most people don't ever get exposed to. It's not for me. Not for me, not for my family.